Hi, it's Chris here from Tech Tablets, and I thought it would be really interesting to compare the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra up against the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So the big change is, of course, that zoom camera we have with the S24 Ultra. It's now 50 megapixels, five times optical, instead of a 10 times optical zoom camera, but Samsung claims it's just as good, or if not better, even at 10 times zoom and I'll be putting that to the test in this video. Along with the main camera, has the video stabilization improved? And what about low light? Will that be better with the S24 Ultra? Let's find out. So that's a video that is the one times camera, both for them 200 megapixels. As you can see, as I walk along, it's looking smooth across both of them. You can't really see that much of a difference, but it's quite windy, blowing a lot at the moment. Is one of them slightly better with the microphones? I'm swapping over the audio sources. And what I wanted to test is stabilization. So main camera now jogging and sprinting. Is one of these slightly steadier than the other? Let me know in the comments if you think the S24 looks a bit steadier. I think they look very, very similar. This is now 10 times zoom video, and are we going to see a difference? Will that megapixel count help out the S24 Ultra, which is on the left of the screen? I'm just walking a little bit. I'll stop now. I'm going to hold them as still as possible. Which one do you think here has the best quality? It's really hard to tell. This is 4K, 30 frames per second. I think we've got a slight edge. With the S24 Ultra looking slightly better. This is more zoom footage looking at these seagulls here. And again, I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible, focusing on them. Are we seeing a difference? Is the S24 Ultra better? It's 4K, 10 times optical zoom. I'm now going to zoom in a little bit more to these seagulls. We're going to go up to 20 times with the S24 Ultra. And then 20 times here with the S23 Ultra. And we're seeing a difference there. I think, again, the S24 Ultra has a slight edge. Finally for video, low light performance now. So is there a change, a difference, an upgrade in low light video performance between the S23 Ultra and the new S24 Ultra? I can still see a little bit of lens flare coming through on both of them, you can see moving about. And as I walk along here to the right, stabilization, are we seeing a difference here with low light video performance? Low light zoom cameras now. I have set the Galaxy S24 Ultra to 10 times just to match the 10 times with the S23 Ultra. And I think there is a noticeable difference here. It looks slightly better with the S24 Ultra, I think, or what I can see on the screens at least. Over to still. So there is a big difference with portraits. You can see that the S24 Ultra, to me, looks better. It's not over sharpened like the S23 Ultra. The exposure of my face and the skin tones look slightly better with the S24 Ultra. So I think that one's better there and great to see that Samsung's not sharpening everything up as much with the newer model. Samsung is still struggling somewhat with very bright flowers. As you can see here, the S23 Ultra is better than the S24 Ultra. Look at the petals of the flower on the right. You can see the little speckles of white, whereas with the S24 Ultra, it's clipping, it's oversaturated, and you don't get those finer details. So the previous model here has performed better with this particular shot. Zoom photo here. So both of them I set to 10 times zoom. So that's a native optical 10 times with the S23 Ultra versus half digital, half optical. But we have the higher megapixel count being 50 megapixels with the S24 Ultra. Color science is different. The S24 Ultra is more saturated. The greens are a little bit artificial green. And you can see there's a lot more noise to the S23 Ultra shot with the gray feathers and around the eye of this seagull here. Both of the shots aren't amazing. I think there's a slight edge to, well, the S23 Ultra, I do like the more true to life colors with it. Same seagull, but this time it's a 30 times digital shot. And you can see both of them are usable if you don't crop in. When you crop in a little here, you can start to see that there's a bit of noise and grain to both of them. 
Both of them aren't really wonderful, and it's really hard to pick a winner here. Some parts of the Seiko look a bit sharper, like its body with the S24 Ultra, but its head was moving. The shutter lag on both of them is very similar. I think slightly quicker maybe with the S24 Ultra, but there is a bit of blur there, as you can see, with its head. Main camera is now 200 megapixels. So I like what I see with the S24 Ultra. It's not over sharpened. And this is more noticeable when you crop in now to 200%. See how it looks more detailed, the S23 Ultra, but don't mistake detail for over sharpening. So I like, again, that they have decided to tone down now with the over sharpening with the S24 Ultra. This is the default out of the box settings too, by the way. More zoom shots. So this is the 10 times optical on both of them. Samsung's claim is that the 10 times zoom on the S24 Ultra is about that of the S23 Ultra. And I believe that. But 30 times zoom now, you can see there's a big difference in the contrast. I think there's a slight edge here to the S23 Ultra. It looks a little bit washed out, the S24 Ultra. And then when you zoom in from 30 to 100 times zoom now, not that anyone's going to be using this photo because it's not good at all. The S24 Ultra does have the best ultra zoom or the 100 times zoom. Over to low light shots, Samsung is still struggling with night sky. You can see with the S24 Ultra, it's got a bit of a purple tint to it. However, when you crop in, you can see there's just a few more details captured. I would say a marginally better low light shot here versus its predecessor, the S23 Ultra. 10 times zoom now with both of them. You can see that the S24 Ultra, when you don't crop in, looks more detailed, a bit sharper. But when you crop in, it's got a lot more noise to it, as you can see, versus the S23 Ultra. With this low light shot here, I think the S24 Ultra has a slight advantage here, a little bit more detail captured. But notice that both of the phones, they don't capture the corrugated ironed roof texture that seems to be just blurred out. But when you crop in, you can see a little bit more, I feel, with the S24 Ultra. Slightly brighter, slightly more detailed image. Last low light photo now. So I've noticed that the S24 Ultra is slightly better, capturing just a few more details with the grass and around where that shed is looks slightly sharper, but they are very close, these two shots. There's really nothing in it. So here are my findings. Some big surprises here. I felt that the zoom video, while it looks sharper and more detailed with the S24 Ultra, the stability was not as good as the 10 times optical periscopic camera of the S23 Ultra. That was smoother to me. There was a little bit less noise with video with the S24 Ultra. However, the exposure was better with the previous model when it came to things like clouds and that shot that I did show you, that footage 4K was a bit better with the S23 Ultra. I found the main camera shots like scenery with um, not as much sharpening did look better with the S24 Ultra. Portraits, again, a little bit softer, looked better with the S24 Ultra. The S23 Ultra tends to over sharpen and Samsung aren't doing that as much now with the newer model, which is good to see. I did find that audio quality at times was better with the S24 Ultra, just a little clearer. Although the wind filtering I felt was a bit better with the S24 Ultra. So it's a give and take. That's, they're really trading blows right here. Now do remember that this is the first release firmware that I'm testing the S24 Ultra with. So it's bound to improve with those firmware updates. Thank you so much for watching this camera comparison. Do check my channel for more camera comparisons with the S24 Ultra, my hands-on video, and my review of it. Thanks a lot for watching.